welcome to the channel guys. Um, wanted to talk to you about my 1997 SL500 and this is a convertible obviously and we got really lucky here because we got probably one last good day here in Michigan. I live in Metro Detroit. It is 66 degrees and I thought what a great opportunity to film. So I've loved this car for a long time and I'm sure there are people out there that also appreciate this vehicle as I do. And so I wanted to make a video here just showing you what it's like to own what I consider to be a modern classic Benz. Um, this is the 1997, it's known as the R129 and um, it's always been a dream car of mine to uh, own and especially um, as the years go on this car is becoming more and more of a modern classic, as I mentioned. One of the things that I really like about this car is that they just don't make cars like this anymore. When you look at the exterior, when you look at the design language, the lines, um, just everything about this car is just so, you know, a blast from the past. You imagine maybe you hit the stock market and made it, and shout out to TLT if you know, you know, um, and, and, you know, it's, this car was a status symbol back in the 90s. Definitely was um, uh, expensive. This particular model was originally 96 or $97,000. Um, today you can get it for somewhere between, I would say, 8 to 10K, all the way up to about 40 or 50K for a real, real clean A plus one. I'm gonna speak up a little bit because I know the top's down, it's a little windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, and so, you know, there are so many unique things about this car. They definitely don't make cars like this anymore. And, um, and that's what I love about it. It's not, it's not very common here in Metro Detroit, so I get a lot of looks when I drive this car. Um, I get thumbs up on the highway when I roll through. Um, you know, they, they appreciate uh, uh, such a vehicle. And so, um, my experience uh, for the year and a half, like I said, there's been ups and downs. The ups is, you know, when you drive this car with the top down on a sunny day like this, there's no other feeling. I've driven a lot of cars. I've driven Ferraris, uh, Porsche, and, and you know, I drive um, my other car is a 540 horsepower Alpina V6, which has a top speed of 199 miles per hour. We'll show you that in another video. But I still find myself coming back to this vehicle and I actually daily this vehicle from spring until fall and then I drive the Alpina uh, during the winters. What are the, some of the things I love about this car? Number one, the looks. Timeless classic, clean lines. Um, when you shut the door, there's a hard thunk and, and definitely has that just old school Benz. Some say it's the last true Benz. Uh, this car, this particular car, has uh, the older uh, V8 that's hand built and after the merger with Daimler and Chrysler um, they changed the engine a little bit made it more efficient a little less power a little more torque but I went for this one because I wanted that true old-school Benz experience um, the other thing I love about this car is even by modern standards it still has decent power uh, it's got like I said 300 and some horsepower um, I when I was looking for the car I was considering the V12 um, which is a naturally aspirated V12 with the SL600, but I got scared about the maintenance costs. And, um, you know, if you find one, a really clean one that's been well maintained, then you should be okay. But definitely, if you can imagine the eight cylinder is expensive to maintain, imagine the, the 12 cylinder. Um, it is worth it if you if you have the pockets, you know, and the means to do so. The, um, and, and lastly, just the thing that I love about this car is it, it's just, I think it's gonna appreciate in value. Um, I actually went in on this uh, a year and a half ago, like I mentioned, after I saw uh, Matt Farrow actually from the Smoking Tire Podcast. He picked one up and he made a great point in his video. He said, look, I don't anticipate the values of these ever going any lower than they already are. You can find them for, you know, as low as $8,000 all the way up to like 40 or 50K, depending on how clean it is and what style and that sort of thing. Um, I picked this one up for 15K. It had about 54,000 miles. I'll kind of floor the, the car a little bit for you guys to show you some of the power. Again, by today's standards, I mean, there's faster cars out there, um, but it's still, especially on the highway, it's able to keep up with most modern vehicles and, and you know, it's not the loudest 
this sounding V8 out there. It's very refined, but uh, that's not what this car is about. It's not about. It's not meant to be a sports car. It's meant to be a GT car. It's meant to be a highway cruiser, and that's how I use this car. I have a really far commute. I commute about 80 miles round trip every day and this car takes me there and back and uh, mechanically engine and drivetrain have been bulletproof I I have all the records from start on this car and I recommend if you get an older German car that you get one that has been meticulously detailed um, uh, I have had some issues and this is one of the other negatives is that you know when you're dealing with an older uh, German car there are things that can go wrong with it and in this particular model it's got a soft top convertible that's run by hydraulic motors and those hydraulic motors go bad and when they go bad it's very expensive to fix it's about 1500 to two grand if you take it to a shop um, if you know how to fix it yourself then you know you can save yourself the money but actually the cost is in the labor because some of those hydraulics are buried really deep in the car unfortunately I have had to take this car back three times for the hydraulic leaks and knock on wood here um, since for about a year I've not had any leaks and it, I'm so thankful that <laughs> it hasn't had any further issues um, so yeah I, I let me know what you guys think I wanted to show you you know uh, what this car is about dynamically speaking it it doesn't handle like like a, a sports car it handles more like just just like a Benz if you've ever driven a Benz especially from this era they kind of they've got this smooth solid feeling and uh, and that's what I love about this car um, it does have some nice features this one has the sport uh, package that has you know the different side skirts different bumpers it also has the uh, binding on headlights for 97 that's pretty impressive uh, this model I'll show you in another video I have with, with the panoramic roof so from right here all the way back 100% of the roof is glass and safety standards have changed over the years so um, you know it's not super common anymore to have 100% of the roof be totally glass uh, and this one has the monochrome rim so if you are gonna get one you know I would look at those options those are very desirable options uh, you know uh, I've got the, the silver with the silver interior and uh, I think the red draws a little bit more of a premium I personally this is my this is my style it's kind of low-key uh, and so yeah this this has kind of been my experience it's a beautiful day I'm out for a drive I'm enjoying myself probably the last time in 2020 I get to drive this with the top down so I'm very thankful for that and uh, let me know what you guys think uh, drop me a, a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you think this is this is the kind of content you like it'll be a mix of automotive spiritual medical and just anything in between maybe a little investing as well so uh, yeah thanks thanks a lot for your time take care guys